now to an afternoon shootout that left a man hurt. The shots rang out on Granby Street near 27th Street just before 4. Ten on your side, Gina Revela went to the scene and she joins us now in Norfolk. Gina, I know you caught up with a witness who saw the whole thing play out. Yeah, Nina, and it was, he says it was a very tense situation. Bullets were flying in front of a set of small businesses, and he says the whole thing was very surreal to watch. A typical day on the job quickly turned into a terrifying situation for many people on Thursday afternoon. It was just like a full-fledged shootout. Alex Boxley was working when he first heard the loud pops outside of his building. He initially thought it was construction work, but soon realized it was gunshots just feet away from the front door. Then it was multiple, like a lot more shots after that. So I, I just ran and locked the door. And then that's when I was kind of like ducking, but I was watching. Alex says he saw two men shooting at each other. It was pretty traumatic because all this was going on. They were shooting in traffic too. So I'm just like, this is crazy out here. Alex says terrified drivers were forced to stop their cars in the middle of the shootout. He also saw the moment one of the men was hit by a bullet. He dropped the intersection, he got back up and shot like three more shots and then just started like limping off. Norfolk police arrived minutes later and found that man with a gunshot wound. He was taken to the hospital but is expected to be okay. A nearby business owner didn't want to go on camera but he says police told him a gun was found near the back of his building. Investigators also towed away an SUV riddled with bullets from the scene. Detectives have not released any suspect information or any details about what led up to this shooting, but if you have any information, you're asked to call Crime Line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. Reporting live in Norfolk, Gina Arevalo, Ted on your side. Now tonight, police are also investigating a shooting in Virginia Beach. This was a scene on Woods Edge Court. Police say around 830 they got the call. They say someone shot a man in the back there. He is expected to survive. Police did not give any suspect information. New details in a Hampton shooting we first told you about last night is breaking news. On Wavy News 10 at 11, police now say two shootings that happened within minutes of each other are linked. Now, the first one was on Rose Street around 6.30 minutes later, another shooting on Michigan Drive. Police say a 30-year-old victim was standing outside a home on Rose Street when the suspect approached him, fired shots, and then ran. That man is recovering from life-threatening injuries. Then police say the suspect made his way to Michigan Drive. The 53-year-old victim there said the suspect fired shots through the closed front door of the home and hit him several times. Police say neither act appears to be random. School officials in Suffolk say they are investigating a school shooting threat. The principal of Cherry Middle School says the school was made aware of a photo being shared. The picture had a gun in the background. The school district and the police immediately began their investigation. They ask all parents to monitor your children's social media posts and behavior closely. If you can help with any of these crimes, call the crime line.